All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special presentation of the Community Hero Project here at Dota Cinema. I will be Trent Pax. I'll be guiding you through this here. I'm joined by Brax. And, uh, well, you guys are looking at a lovely image here. On the left here, you got Ko. Um, this is a, a new friend for all of you. And on the right hand side, that's Parasite. And let me, uh, basically, these are some custom heroes from Sunspan and Sir Action Slacks. So, uh, I'm gonna run you guys over some of the bugs here before we go ahead and watch a game with them. You're hearing the draft right now. And, uh, so these are some bugs that you're gonna see that only Valve can fix. Uh, we've got, uh, New heroes are force replace old ones. So you're going to see Parasite replacing Tree and Protector and uh, Ko replacing Wind Ranger. So they're quite happy about that. Those heroes just can't be in there. So that's something Valve will have to fix if we, you know, we ever want some more heroes. Uh, we, you know, there's some other hero portrait issues. Recommended items don't work. There's going to be double runes all game. No one knows why. Kind of a thing. Uh, we had a few disconnects. We're hoping that's not going to happen. And then there have been some update issues with the mod, but we're hoping that uh, should also be fixed for this round of it here. Uh, but that's it. So I'm going to take in the draft screen. Don't be too scared now. I see you see this Trant over here. That's He doesn't actually have all those leaves. That's just a little bit of a bug here in the hero pick thing. But uh, we're actually good. So Brax, you, uh, you don't know anything about these two heroes, I believe. I have no idea what any of these two. These guys are ugly, man. <laughs> these are some horrible models. <laughs> Uh, we have some lovely playtesters to help showcase these heroes for all of you guys. And uh, we're even going to have a special presentation of a 1v1 mid Sunsfan versus Slacks, which uh, I, I don't know if that's ever been seen in the history of time. I don't think Slacks plays normal Dota. He makes tree dudes and plays techies all day. Yeah, well, uh, oh, we even have a little bit of a pause here. Okay, reconnected. Strategize. That's huh? good. That's probably for the best here. Uh, so I guess I'll give you guys a little showcase mode here. This is Suns Fans Hero over here on the dire K-O-H Co. -H -co. <laughs> <laughs> Slacks, please. Oh, Jesus. So, so we're going to have to go over the skills here, Brax. Dude, I, I clicked the Parasite dude and his icons are really getting me. Oh, yeah. All of the icons are great here. Um, starting with Suns Fan, we have his Q, Voracious Appetite. So basically... The way that, at least from my brief knowledge of the hero, and Suns fan himself seems to not exactly know what this hero is going to do. Uh, he seems to be some sort of like a melee support situation. Kind of uh, like helping you out. Maybe an offlaner, so maybe like an Abaddon kind of a dude. Where like, sometimes he's offlaning, sometimes he's supporting. Uh, but his Q, we'll read out here guys, instantly consumes a creep. Storing strength as your size increases. So this basically builds up over time, uh, and you lose half of this strength when you die. So think of Shadow Fiend Souls. Uh, Wait, you know, you know Shannon copied this from a different game, right? Now, see, that's the interesting thing. He made up those skills before they were used in other games, and he's very upset about that and wants that to be known. He came up with all of these abilities, and this also includes E, which is the uh, protective hide which is also Huskar's old ability. He came up with that before Huskar. Um, and the Link of Fortitude. So he's uh, he's basically trying to reclaim his hero that he feels was stolen from him. And uh, that's where we are right now. So basically, yeah, the appetite. Um, so you can eat creeps, or you can also use on enemy heroes, reducing their attack speed and move speed be slowed by 25% for three seconds. And you can temporarily steal their strength. So it's a super short-range cast. Uh, we'll have to see how we can make good use of that against actual enemies during the game. As we see him coming mid with Shane already being obnoxious uh, as a rookie. With wow, we're actually dual laning mid. Really? Really, guys? There are runes too. Jesus, yeah. this owns. All right, so Slack's just made a little child. Yeah, all right. Well, why don't we hop over there and check, take a look at Fungal Pod here. He creates these uh, pod-like structures, and they grow over time. They can be activated by allies with your right click, and they active as shrines. What do you think of that, Brax? He summons shrines. <laughs> well, I mean, it only has a max heal of 200 at level one. Shane comes Shane by and gets. Full <laughs> oh no! Shane clearly not reading how this works. Uh. So so yeah, he can build that, and well, they've got some other parts of them too. Uh, the pod is invisible first off to enemies, so Sunsfan can't even see that. Okay. Uh, unless it gets activated for the health. And whenever Parasite's alive, you'll notice that he has a constant ability called Combust. He has this at level 1. Uh, Slacks just playing too much techie in terms of having the sign and stuff, so... Oh, wow, really? A misskilled is called here? Oh, that... Yeah, there's... Why would he have W? This is oh, only used no. on allies. 
and he has no allies in the mid lane. So Sun's making a bit of a mistake here. But anyway, this combustibility, basically he can use this on all of his uh, skills. It, it kind of works in tandem with them all. So he can blow up those fungal pods to uh, deal damaged enemies. And they're invisible. And I, I just, just to reiterate, they are invisible. Oh, we'll bring up the CS here and see how this is going right now. Oh, wow. Are these the, where are these mid-hero lasses? Oh, right, the Wind Ranger and the Tram Protector. Okay. I was looking for them, too. I was yeah, like, I was getting none? real confused. Like, dude, they are doing terribly. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. The voice lines for these things are disgusting. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Slax is just gross, man. Oh, yeah. Just cackling. Sun's fan's a bit of like, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't care about other lanes. We're not going to watch those. Yep. They just happen to be in the game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, basically, this fungal pod, he's just going to spam these in the mid lane. They're 120 mana. I guess that's a lot. There's no crystal banes or anything. He has to actually use a clarity potion. Stuff like that. But it's kind of ridiculous to think how much sustain he's going to have for himself here. Oh, it looks like there's some assistance trying to come in here from Zeno. Okay, got the arrow ready to try and land this bad boy on top of Slacks. But, like, how do you kill this guy? If you try and go on him, he can heal from the pod, and then he could, like, blow up the other one on top of you. So, if you actually hover over the pods, there's, like, this 100 number. So, he just blew them up. Uh, did he miss? I believe he did, yeah. Basically, they do damage <laughs> in an area around him. Uh, I haven't even gotten into his best skill, by the way, the Catalytic Spore. So, if you click Sunspan, there's also a 100 on him. So, this grows over time. And at any point, Slacks can press his combust button to stun Sunspan. If you look at Catalytic Spore, uh, it has a max stun of 2.5 seconds. So, right now, anytime he sees Sunspan, he can press combust and stun him for two and a half seconds. Anywhere on the map. He just used it on him again, but he was already at 100. Well, so right now, oh, oh, I guess those apparently block arrows. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Now we know. All right, good to know. So don't pick Marana up against uh, Parasite here, guys. Oh, God. So basically, uh, he's also a vision-based hero. Those those little pods, you guys probably started to notice, but when they die, there's this weird ward thing sitting there. And uh, those are uh, those are the Spora Carps, which is the fourth ability there. Whenever a unit affected by one of Parasite's abilities dies, he can bust them and create Spore Carp on that unit's location. Spore Carp are invulnerable, provide vision, and allow Parasite to cast spells and use items from their location. They are an extensive cast point for the hero. You could use a Dagon across the map, a Force Staff, a Yule Step, or anything you want, as we get our first kill in the mid lane. Ooh, Slacks, throwing down the It's a Disaster so fast right there. Jesus, the smack talk coming out. I know. He, he's been quite rude to poor Suns fan today. Um, but yeah, it's a little ridiculous, man. This, this vision base here, and it just it scales crazy well. I mean, they last 80 seconds at max level. They are visible, though, unlike most wards, of course. You don't need true sight or anything, but it, it's still a little ridiculous. Well, So when does Suns fan's hero come online? That's right a now, he's great just, question. He's just eating. I don't know what he does. <laughs> Uh, basically, I don't think he fits very well in the 1v1, so maybe this isn't the best way to showcase him, but the idea of getting to that kind of mid-game, he eats some creeps, he gets really beefy, he tries to save allies with that Link of Fortitude, and then he is this old Huskar-like passive where he doesn't get any attack speed from being low, but he gets a ton of magic resistance. You guys will see, he scales up here, it gets up to 8% magic resistance for every 10% of missing HP. So when you get down to, like, the lowest of the low of HP, you're essentially invulnerable to magic, which syncs up with his W, the Link of Fortitude, which takes damage from allies, transfers it onto himself, while also converting it into magic damage. So he can basically be this, like, low HP, like, buffing dude to help out his allies, uh, which all syncs up with his ulti here, which he's just skilled Absorption! Uh, so this affects everything in the AoE. So if, like, Slax is in a bunch of creeps, it's going to be less impactful in terms of just straight-up killing Slax because it's going to zoom uh, or drain this, like, you know, max missing HP drain 60%. Oh, the arrow hit! Oh, so Sunspan's trying to get less units probably inside the ulti here. Oh, they might not even need the ulti for the kill. Oh, get him! Oh, he's going to get the ulti! Oh, he silenced the Ricky! The saves! Shane promised he'd play poorly, but not poorly enough. Oh, so, oh, and by the way, did you see what happened there? Did you see Xeno become green and suddenly walk towards these towers? Uh, accident CD. That? Well, that is the ultimate from Slack. So he just grabbed Marana and pulled her into his own tower. 
Uh, because Parasitic Invasion, the ultimate for this hero, allows you to leap inside of an enemy and take over their body for a duration. As you can see, at level 6, it is 6 seconds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, he can move, attack, and cast spells owned by the hero. This includes ultimates. So if he stole, like, a Tidehunter and cast Ravage, he would Ravage the enemy team. It's a little insane. Uh... If the uh, if uh, the hero sustains damage, all right, it's it's confusing. So the damage threshold is currently 150. So what does it say? Sustained by the enemy is dealt to parasite, removing the effect if a damage threshold is reached. So essentially, if the hero you took over took 150 damage, then he gets like jumped out of them or whatever. Okay, um, but you can like run him into your tower, right? Yeah, exactly, stuff like that or fountain. Okay. Yeah, those kind of shenanigans. It's pretty great. So it's more beneficial when you're, like, using an enemy to cast spells on another enemy. Uh, and Slax is building his Dagon. Because, again, uh, when those little spore carps pop up, he can then just Dagon people from. Like, see the Shrine by Sunspan? He could theoretically just pop this from range using Combust uh, and then use a Dagon from it. While there's a ward there from it combusting. What do, you, what do you think about that, Brax? Oh, there he goes. So he just used his Q ability. Um, that Catalytic Spore was just popped on Sunspan, and then he popped the ward at the same time to use the damage from that, and then there's just a ward floating here. Nice, nice. Yeah. This is one disgusting-looking guy, man. This model. Oof. Oh, I know. It's, it's gross. Grandma. And then, I guess, can he... Does that mean he can leap inside of them from, from those wards, too? That sounds insane. That can't be right. That sounds pretty Surely crazy. no one allowed that to happen. Oh, this I, is madness. I, I caught a little bit of color. All right, so here we go. We're, we're going to try this gank again. So he's got what? They see this healing thing because they have a sentry. Uh, all right, what, what's the play here, guys? He's got the ultimate. So if they try and kill him, he's just going to like hop inside you. How do you kill this guy? He's got shrines? <laughs> he's got wards? This guy's actually invincible. All right, so right now, what's what's his skill build here? He's gone for the maxing of the fungal pod. So what goes up here? The max damage, 600. All right, so Sunspan's right on top of this thing. So this is going to do up to... So he stuns him, and he explodes the pod. Oh, no, Sunspan's killing them. Oh, okay, I see. This makes more sense. Oh, and they just omni-slashed him straight up. All right, get wrecked. Okay. No time to ulti. He's, he's dead. He, he's quite dead. Nice, nice work, Team Dire. So I guess Sunspan was able to destroy these fungal pods before Slax could actually activate them and use his combustibility and, and kind of fuck on Sunspan. So that's good. How did he kill them so fast? Did he? Can he eat them? Yes, uh, yeah, I think you can just one-punch them. I think they just die. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, I don't think he can eat them. That'd be pretty cool with his voracious appetite. Oh, ugh, speaking of which, munching up that range creep. Changes. You know, that's the that's the perfect model for them. He's always eating creeps, and then he's got a big old <laughs> cup, so we can take a drink when he's thirsty as well. <laughs> I thought you were saying it's the perfect model for Sunspan. <laughs> he's just always eating, getting larger and larger. <laughs> also true. But he actually is. It's hilarious that it's the Cobalt. He's getting quite tall. And that's only with eight creep stacks, and he's got 32 strength from eating these creeps. So that's the ability that he's maxed out. Uh... Maybe not the one you'd go for if you were an actual support. Man, probably is, honestly. Seems to be the best scaling one. Especially if, you know, you're just getting a little bit of space in the early game. Munch up some creeps. Dude, I feel like Xeno's permanently invisible with this double rune bug. Where's, where's Slax at? I don't know. He booked it from the mid lane. He got scared. He, he's out. All right, so what can this guy do? He shows up in a side lane. Not exactly a, uh, a mid ganker. I, I, I think we've kind of figured out what Sun's fan is. Like, he's this supportish kind of a dude. Slacks, sadly, kind of feels like he just fits that techies role. Like, you just kind of go yeah. places, you know? He's kind of the guy you just don't want on your team. Look at this stupid stun. He just it stuns him from, like, infinite... Oh, he jumped in! He's in the Magnus! Oh, he wanted to RP him so bad. Oh, he doesn't have RP. Oh, and then Nikki just came back and skewered the two of them, but she's in a bad spot, so she just dies. She just gets, like, pulled in. And Gleck shows up. Trying to figure things out here. Sunspan, look at him waddling on in here. 340 he's move so speed. Big. He looks so slow because his model's humongous. Look how much bigger than Ogre he is. He's huge. All right, get him. All right, this is that ulti oh going from God, Sunspan. He's, he's sucking all of their health back into himself. Uh, but it's not enough to get an Ogre. Thankfully, when the tank. Oh, yo, Glex on the back line, though. Easy cleanup. No mana Glex for an ulti. On fire. <laughs> Literally. 
<laughs> he is a burning red jugger, man. You know, they're all kind of cowering behind Slaxus here. Dude, what, pop some shrines, dude. Useful. Yeah, well, let me let me see you get healed up. I want to see this thing get used. I guess he just doesn't want to get he, he dove. He, he doesn't know. He, <laughs> he doesn't know how the hero works. All right, so we got a push coming. We have RP, I think, now. Yeah, Nikki's level 6. What are you guys doing? You're not going to back off, are you? What is this? Jesus, I'm super scared. I, I I don't think I've seen the pod blow up yet. Like I've seen it explode, but I don't think I've seen it do damage. Yeah, that's how kind of how I'm feeling too. I had a brief chance to test these abilities, and I it was hard to find the damage from the pods, so I'm not sure. They they make a different animation as well. It looks more like a little explosion. Oh, Glex, he wants that ulti. It's on Slacks. He got him. I think you know you got to burst that guy down though, because you, you don't want him just munching up your people. Hopping yeah. inside of him. You can't let that happen. You don't want him throwing down shrines in the middle of a fight. He's a priority target. It's not just the fact he slacks. Both of these heroes are priority targets. Sun's fan is just eating all day long and he can't be stopped. How do you... Yeah, like... That's kind of an issue. How do you just deal with this guy? And now he's actually, like, beefy. So he's got 1,880 HP max with with treads. All right, that's actually insane. He's level 10 with treads. 1,880. Six armor. Not bad. Doesn't have too much farm to his name. You know, now that he's bigger, he's using his whip to attack. He's powering up. Oh, I like I like how long this whip is now. Okay, here we go. So, was that the damage thing? I don't think that was the damage thing. I don't thing. think. They're, they're full health. Yeah, they're not taking damage. All right, Slacks, five seconds till his oh, ulti. Oh, some deep shit. Sunspan is just wandering. He's going to have his ulti soon, too. It's only still the level one, so it's uh, missing HP is the big thing for uh, for Sunspan. He is just whipping Slacks. Just give it to him. Oh, he hopped inside Nikki. He's looking for the big team RP. Oh, he got it. The stolen RP from Parasite. <laughs> oh, what an open here. Now they're all silenced up because of Shane as well. Stuck inside. Oh, uh, but I think it's not going to be enough. Slacks tried his best there, and D was going to find anyone hiding back here with a macro pyre. And they just get cleaned up. Why you no mid, though? No, no. Why you no die? Oh, okay. I don't know. They were close, My but... Uh, I think Sunspan hit his ulti in the middle of that fight, and they also had that shield too. It was hard to tell because of the hype RP, but this uh, Link of Fortitude here. Ally heroes take 15% less damage if he shields them because he takes them all. Uh, but then for the most part, that absorption is just... Uh, you can't kill the man. He's building an Aghanim Scepter. Does this hero oh. have oh, an Brax. Aghanim Scepter? Brax, Brax, Brax. Let, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a Sunspan hero. Of course it has an Aghanim Scepter. So the story of this is, you know, we've gone over the ult a little bit here. So uh, you drain the life of all the units when the 700 AoE. So think of like Eclipse, where it's best when it's one person. That's basically how his ulti works. So if you're down, missing 60% of your HP and you cast that on an enemy, you can regain all that HP, stealing it from them. So it does a ton of damage to your enemy. Now, that only works, though, if you've taken a bunch of damage. However, with the Aghanim Scepter, it no longer depends on how much HP you're missing. Instead, it switches to your max HP. Oh, so geez. therefore, he can just, like, initiate fights with this crazy absorption. Somebody fire the balance team. <laughs> I, I was not a part of this balance team, <laughs> and I want it to be known to the world. All right, I keep trying to find Slax's thing. I have to click the little tree in up top. He's, uh, he must have the dag on. Is it on the courier? He's poor, man. Wait, did he? he wow, he's, he's really poor. Yeah, if he's struggling. I guess I mean, he doesn't really have a good way to farm, does he? Can he jungle? Uh, I think his thing's bugged and it doesn't do damage. They, yeah, they say 600 damage. Like, couldn't he just go, like, do some Ancients or something? <laughs> like, let's get some money going. Well, Glex, uh, he just wants to Omni Slash. Sorry, all right. All right, he didn't pop it. Or at least I don't see any damage. Oh, he was taking damage there. I think we might have seen it, but Glex is just popping all around. They're going to pop the shrine. All right, team, group up, get healed. Plays are working out. Sunspan. He, all right, the Cavalier Spore is on top of him right now. It's taken up, so they can stun him right now from a distance. But look at Sunspan just eat their HP. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh and Slax oh is just making noises. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, all right, he's inside Sunspan, but he has no skills left. Uh, and now Slax is just getting whipped. It's an 8k lead for the Dire. They they are just getting run over by a giant creep eating get fucking kobold. Wind Ranger is uh, delivering some messages from the sidelines. She's not even in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately, that is one of our bugs. Not able to uh, put these glorious portraits up top or on the mini map for you guys. 
Glex, can you try harder? Wow, Slack's uh, calling out the Juggernaut here, saying, like, you know, trying way too hard in this game. This is pretty yeah. much the biggest Glex is ever going to get here, and he's a little upset that Shane picked Ricky. I can understand that. Bernie, though, you guys know him. You'll love him. Comes with the big know. plays. All right, here are the throws. Now we're talking. Just some casual evening up the game here from the Dire. Very kind of him. Now we've got a real game. Yeah. You know, I've been watching Glex's perspective the entire time, and oh my god, he's trying extremely hard. <laughs> I don't know what's on the line for him here, but he really wants to win. That's good. That's good. He, ne he needs this, man. He's got to impress Suns fan. You know, they play together all the time, and Glex, he has his issues. I've played with Glex. He just wants to make Suns fan proud for once in his life. And speaking of Suns fan, he's, he's got the levels now. He's got level 2 in the ulti. So almost in the Agnum Scepter. I want to watch this Link of Fortitude actually do some of the fight. I feel like he's one of those heroes that you're not going to be able to tell, like, how good the skill is, you know? It's not super evident, right? Like like a Laguna Blade or something like that where people just melt. Yeah, very true. I haven't, uh, I'm not sure if I've seen the animation for it or what it looks like. Uh, basically, it looks like a Solar Crest on an ally. Okay. So it's pretty hard, or uh, pretty easy to miss. What's happening? What are these Radiant Heroes doing? I have four heroes down the Radiant Lane. Are we making a push here, guys? We got a support Weaver with nothing but an Aquila trying to build a Radiance? This doesn't look too good. Don't worry. They got some Shrines down here. They're well protected. All right. Are we baiting here? Okay. We're going in. Suns fan's just there. He ate some something. Oh, he's slowing down onto this uh, Slardat. The stolen strength here. That's what's happening. The Slax is doubling back. There's another try-hard Glex ulti. And uh, again, it's just the run. I don't know what they do to stop him. Suns fans just forward. He's got a blink dagger. He's getting right in the middle of things. Once he casts his ultimate, he's starting to lose that HP. Oh, this is where it comes in. This is the absorption. Oh, no. Oh, look at his HP. It's all just flowing back. Yes, come closer, Ogre. Oh, and suddenly I'm at max HP. Very solid ability. And then you know, he's eating him. <laughs> and then he just munches what? on top of him. <laughs> he just runs around, can't be killed, and he takes a bite out of all the bad guys. Uh, and then they also just can't do any magic damage to him. Although it's hard to tell this game because they don't have that much magic damage really on the Radiant. And just and, uh, Ogre. I haven't even looked at the talents until now. Alright, I see there's a backdoor shield, but obviously there is no backdoor, so that's good. Oh, the talents, that's true. I mean, I feel like you play heroes and you're like, oh man, these talents are so shit. That is not what happened with these heroes. They just picked mega OP talents. All their talents are like the best talents of numerous real heroes at those levels. Like, look, Suns fan. Oh, do I want 20% XP gain or do I want 3 mana regen? That that seems a little much. Isn't that a little much here, guys? I don't know. Glex? Oh, yo, Glex. The tryhard is real. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they picked Mag Jug. Like, is that, is that fair? I don't know. This does not seem fair. Glex is trying his hardest. So... What does Slax do? Been, I don't know. He That's what I'm trying to figure watching. out. All right, like that damage thing just happened. I don't, is he taking damage right now? All right, this I is just the ward. There's, so. there's no. Oh, that arrow. That was actually from like max range. And Sunspan's trying. To, oh, he's gonna get saved. Nice. All right, Bernie comes in, saving Slax. Typical stuff. See it all the time. Every Slax stream. I just, I need. I feel like I need to watch this hero do something. I'm not feeling it so far. This I'm game. like, I'm waiting for something big to happen. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like maybe Some it's big the day. Pods going off. Yeah, maybe. Does he have one yet? He has it now. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Not tree and protector. Yep. He's online now. So now again to reiterate, what this should do is that if I can find these. Uh... So it's not the uh, the shrines themselves that are going to extend the cast range here, folks. It's going to be those little mini ward things that show up when something that, uh, whenever a unit affected by one of Parasite's abilities dies, he can bust them and creates Spore Carps on that unit's location. So that's not just enemy heroes. Uh, that could be his little shrine things as well. So basically, uh, we'll have to watch during a team fight. Whenever one of these little wards pops up, he can dag on from that ward. Of course, that is the, apparently the last skill he's going to go with the max. Do they have any of these little cues on them? We're, we're looking for the... Uh, Catalytic Spore, he's trying to get close. All right, he's got it on Suns fan. So now, that little thing's building. Uh, when it explodes, it also transfers to other people. Okay. Yeah, all right, so there's there's the little thing. So he can dag on off of that ward oh. if someone walks up over there. So he's Nikki's coming. Oh, she's in this, though. She got the blink. She's got the blink. They got the arrow set. Oh, Nikki's looking for the big RP. She can't get close enough, though. It's only going to be one. All right, they're turning. The throw is real. 
It's happened. It's only a 5k lead now for the time. Where's Glex? This guy's just off AFK farming. <laughs> the hero. The hero they need is just not there. He's just split pushing. He's got no TP. Oh, no. Oh. It's in his backpack, too. It's double that that thing's never coming back. It's <laughs> oh, boy. He might as well not have one. It's actually gone. He's going to be in the bottom lane forever. All right. Slack's just uh, casually using one of his little shrines here in the mid lane. So... Oh, and now, now there's a little Spore Carp, too. So, again, he can cast spells off of that. So, how much does that just heal him? Max healed 350 on a 15-second cooldown for 150 mana. Uh, I guess it's not... I mean, it seems a little absurd, considering it's an AoE. Yeah? Yeah. A little bad. But, uh, considering the uh, offensive capabilities of that Fungal Pot are pretty much non-existent, or at least... Yeah, that's true. I haven't seen it yet. I, I can't find it. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe we got to read this thing again here. Yep. Am I missing something? I see them exploding, but nothing happens. If Parasite is alive, he's able to detonate the pod with Combust by selecting it, dealing magical damage to nearby enemies over time, which ramps up over the duration. So, oh, okay, so that's why. It's like Static Storm. Oh, so right. it does more like near, like the longer they stay near the little pod. That makes a little more sense. Uh, Glex, he has returned, and he's angry once again. Oh, the sentry! They found him! They know he's there! Oh! It wasn't in time, though. Ugh. I thought they had it. There's some serious hate on Slacks. I wonder if his uh his thing pierces the magic immunity. Like, could he have gotten him while he was spinning? I don't think it does. It doesn't say in the description, but... I imagine it wouldn't, but who knows? I mean, with everything else these guys have, it can be a little hard to tell. Also, why does Sunspan only have four creep stacks? I thought he only lost half. Half of the strength when you die. I feel like oh, he should no. have, a, have a few more. All right, Bernie's in. Got the silence. And this is nice. Glex is the main defensive options. He's trying to run out of it. Yeah, he's just going and he's manning up with the Mask of Madness. It's going to be there. There's the heal. Oh, my God. Sun's fit. Look at his HP come back. Oh. All right. All right. Here comes the Fungal Pod, man. What can you do, dude? There's like five of these things here. Does anyone have the little... All right. Marana, Zeno here. He has the Catalytic Spore. Uh, but they can't get a chase going. They're not going to come back. So it has to get to 100, right? Well, on, then, yeah, then yeah. that's the max stun if he were to oh. uh, combust them or whatever it is. So it's four okay. seconds. It's like a Beastmaster roar. Again, the balance team, please. Th that can't be right. Surely. These numbers are just insane. I guess, you know, every time Ice Frog adds a hero, they're mega OP. So we, we can just blame it on that. <laughs> God, what are you trying to say? These voice lines, dude. <laughs> did Slacks record those? those, those oh, slides? did he ever? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're quite beautiful. Okay, so Slacks just exploded on the creeps. Mid oh, that's the uh, that's the Sporocarp passive, right? Yeah, that's the little. See, every one of his little things, they're all exploding. And then, and then, because one of them exploded, it spread to all the other ones. It's like a, okay. a poison here. Oh, and looks like he also had something on that Jakiro, so it made this little ward. So now if anyone walks within that range again, he could just dag on them. Pretty wacky. All right, Zeno also... Oh, Glex. So they get Glex, and now Zeno's walking around up here, and he has the Catalytic Spore on him. So if they were to just spawn him right now, they could just stun him. Four seconds. And then it also says... Uh, let me see if I can find this here. Can be used on Parasite himself to automatically combust all valid units outside of his sight range. Oh, okay. Now I'm I, not. I missed that before. Yeah, I'm not sure if that means that they have to be in vision, in terms of. I I assume that he can just stun them anywhere. He just used it right now, and uh, Zeno didn't get stunned. I don't know if he clicked himself or what he clicked. Yeah. So it's hard to say. They're they're quite the heroes. So now, now you can see right now, he's just lasting in mid. So they don't, like, poison or explode. So it's not mega OP or anything. But if he were to cast his Catalytic Spore on one of them and then kill it, then it's going to do that little bursty effect and add it to all of them. All right, we're, we got a full, full engagement here. There's no Shane. Maybe, maybe there's going to be a little bit of an edge for the uh, the Dire here. Oh, it looks like everyone's wimping out. Oh, Moonlight Shadow. Okay, here we go. There is a Sentry in the mid, though. There's an Ags now on Cole. Oh, but so, so Sunset's actually under a warder now. He blinks in. He's looking for a stunned up. All right, this is what he wants, though. He, he wants to get low. He's like, bring it. Oh, and there's the ulti. Sucking all that damage with the Agnum Sever. Does not matter if he's full HP, low HP, mega OP skill confirmed. 
All right, I hope I we get a fight recap happens. for this. I thought they just all died. Please fight recap. He blinked in, took a bite out of someone, and then he out came the circle. <laughs> I'm, I feel like I'm still waiting on this this Slax hero. I thought his hero was going to be the mega OP one for sure. Like, I read his abilities, and I'm just like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's Suns fan who's turning up, man. It's Colt. Uh, sadly, there are no fight recaps in custom games right now, or at least not in this custom game. So it's hard to tell exactly how much damage he did, but 80% of uh, his max... Wait. I don't think it says how much. It goes up to a hundred percent. That that's insane. So it's eighty percent of twenty three hundred. So theoretically, he just spread like, you know, eighteen hundred damage or whatever across five heroes. It's pretty good. Is it pure damage? Magic damage? I don't know. It doesn't say on the, the ability. What, what are these tool? These tool tips are for amateurs. Oh my god, there's... Do you see the descriptions at the bottom? Cole takes a bite of the something tasty. Cole feels the pain intended for his friends. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again? Is, what? Is Goodness that right? gracious. Health, Health of the, of the living, living is drained in the depths of Cole's bowels. That can't be right. Well, I that's think a, it's quite right. Holder. Now I'm scared about these, these slacks ones. No. Oh. All right, well, what can... All right, Sword Bacon's just in here. Ko's just not nearby? All right. No, it's not going to matter. Uh, oh, wow, this is long. Oh, I saw Slacks write these on stream. Those that wander into the woods, plagued by Parasite's fungus, seldom feel the... Oh, God, Slacks! Get him! All right, do the thing. I think, I think damage is happening. Is it? I can't tell. Uh, he's so big. He still has like 1,200 HP left, and he still has his ulti. He's just waiting. Oh, oh. <laughs> He just melts, and they're going to solo this? RP Slacks. Oh no, and Glex is just Omni and Creeps at this point. Nice ult. I mean, that was deserved. He did just Omni Creeps. <laughs> Unless he's repeating a nice ult in terms of what uh, Ko just did, because that was a little a little dicey. Uh, Sunspan told me this is the build. You basically just go uh, Agonims and Heart, because you want max HP. Wait, why is his ult up again? That's a great question. Why is his ult up again? It has not been 100 seconds. Maybe he had an arcane rune? It hasn't been that long still. I maybe don't know. Refreshed. May maybe he just used cheats. That's a good point. He might have. Alright. Oh, look at his ulti! <laughs> he just dies! <laughs> what? <laughs> How did he have ulti? I think there are some... There's some there's something some cheats are happening here. I don't trust in this. He has an advantage over all other players. Oh, it is something. All right, Slacks, do something, man. Show me the strength of this hero. Stop just getting arrowed. Cast a fungal pod. This is that. All right, you know what, Brax? I think I figured it out. Yes, sir. We all know Slacks just loves techies, right? Uh huh. And what happens in every single techies game? These stupid, idiotic, high ground situations where it gets really dumb and hard to push. I can tell you, there's. Uh, if we look at the talents of this thing, this parasite. Plus three max fungal pods becomes a thing. Plus 300 fungal pod damage. And then minus 12 second max growth time. So, wow. That that sounds pretty gross because the fungal pods and the catalytic spores both use growth time. Meaning that it takes 20 seconds before you can stun someone for four seconds with the, uh, with the parasite. However, in the late game, that's going to go down to eight seconds. So that's just this, you know... This hero is actually so well developed. The synergy between all the skills. Yeah, it is a little impressive. It's I mean, there. you know, this guy likes his theory crafting. I wonder if he's an Agonims. That's the real question. Oh, what? There's a there's an alt here. Parasitic invasion can also be removed with stuns, Yule Scepter, etc. Oh, except it says EXT. Uh, purges also remove invasion, diffusal purge creeps. Okay. Interesting. So you can, like, purge the guy and get rid of... I don't know. That that sounds a little confusing uh, to me. I think that's what it is I, I guess to you say, So uh, you can, like, Yule's an enemy. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, it says exit, though, randomly after Yule's scepter. I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, I can also tell you guys that when he parasites someone, you, you can't tell as the enemy. So, like, if you look at the takeover hero, they look like they're still an ally. 
Um, and in Slax's ideal world, you can also use their voice comms, but they haven't quite gotten that to be able to work yet. Well, that technology is not available. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's 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 only the year 2017. We're not there yet. All right, this this Weaver is being really obnoxious, man. Uh, do you see that Dagon range off of the pod? He, he just Dagon from a All right, he's inside oh, he's Sunspan. In. He's just walking away, and now he's just using his ulti. And then you're gonna notice that his ulti just comes right back. So he can use his ulti again here. Oh, oh, this is gonna be dirty when he ults. Oh no. Suck him up, get him. They're just all dead. I don't know. I think Slacks might be throwing a bit here. I think he's done. <laughs> Maybe he's didn't think out the plan all that well, huh? No, I don't think so. Can Slacks uh, drop items while he does that? Now that is a good question. I think we might have to all chat that. Can Slacks drop items when in the parasite? You know, that seems like one of those bugs that would just go through. <laughs> what, you know, unnoticed. <laughs> Let's get rid of that Agatum Scepter. <laughs> I like the way you think, man. Always find a way to win in impossible situations. Shane is uh, trying to catch up to the hero Glex here. God, I'm just so excited to see Slacks try this now. You know he's gonna go do it. Right I mean, now. think about What's the up? things that have slipped through in Dota before in these hero making abilities. Like, just recently, when Enchant Enchantress had the talent, she can enchant Roche after you could do it to Ancients. That was like yeah. the funniest thing ever. Chen Ags could do the same thing too when it was first uh, implemented to take Ancients. Yeah, so it's not that absurd to think that maybe you could drop items here. Yeah, very so, true. Nikki does get the Aegis in time here. And, uh, well, Shane is going to slip away after being Mega. Not all right, all right, there goes one little spore thing. Three-man stun from Burnside. Uh, Sunspan's still looking. He's no ulti for 15 seconds. The hero is weak right now. They must fight. Where's the shield? Shield someone, Sunspan. Save them. Do your ability thingies. Save Glex. Save anyway. He's not saving. He's just trying to stay invis and wait for his big-ass ulti. And he's just whipping slacks. It's coming. <laughs> Give him the suck. Uh, he just loves playing Pugna a little bit too much. He's not going to be able to catch a Bruzix. Meanwhile, everyone's just invisible. You know, Slax is dead again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying, if, man. If nothing else, you know, this is a huge morale boost right now for the Dire. The ringleader, Slax, is just dead without casting ultimate. I'm just... I'm a little confused about Sunspan. I want to see this Link of Four dude. I feel like he's not playing the hero that he made. Like, where are they say, Alright, he's blinking and eating. So he whips this dude, takes a little bit of his strength. He actually just has a stick up, just that man of the scoochie. Then he whips the shit out of that tower. You know, after he ate him, he actually took a, a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It helps the digestion. Oh boy, 4,300 HP on this guy. That insane. is insane. And it's max missing HP drain is 100%. All right, this can't be real. Yeah, the uh, the balance team's gonna have to have a word with me after this game. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you're just in a one v one from this dude, he's just gonna drain four thousand and thirty five HP from you. I mean, somebody call Loda, get him on the horn, and ask how is this balanced? Because that's just this can't be real. No, the real dream would be what if you stacked a bunch of ancients. Mm. You would just. I, I guess it's. Uh, it won't go too far. All right, here we go. He's just on top of Shane. He's going to try and give him the ulti, even in all of these creeps. Is that how much damage he does? He can't be too sure. He has no detection. All right, where's my slacks? What's happening here, man? Dagon 2. Just... Well, Dagon 2, all right. He's moving up in the world. <laughs> They're actually trying to All right, to here we go. This guy. Oh, Glexus. Is... Oh, he's just going to arm you. Oh, I can just feel how salty Slax is right now. There's going to be some all chat in a second. Oh, meanwhile, Sunspan. Oh, he lived. Or rather, I mean, they all lived in that sense. He actually died. He didn't get his ulti off. Nice work by oh, yeah. Shane. The Scotty and the Diffusal. Keeps him inside the silence cloud. The yeah. It's nice. Uh, Glex is going to clean up, though. They're pinging so... onto Shane. They want him. Oh, Burnside. All right, also clean up here. This, this is actually how Slax wins most of his games, though, is that abilities and spells get cast on him in every single pub you ever play with him because people just want to say they killed Sir Action Slax, even though it's not really the best thing for the fight. So that, that's probably how they're going to throw this 15k lead, I would imagine. Oh, dude, the smoke for the speed. They are going in for Bernie. You know, he, he could have used the shrine here. Bernie, can I see some use here? 
That would have been quite nifty. <laughs> Abusing the standard, Ryan. just gets arrowed in bed. Hi. Alright, so we have yet to see the uh, item dropping with the... Yeah, that's true. Uh, I would like to see this good attempt in here from Slax. Is... Oh, these other heroes no one cares about are doing other things. Another good stun for Bernie. Alright, here comes Slax. Alright, he's inside. He's in. Glex, drop the items. Alright, he's just going for the spin. Not going for the drop. A nice use of the spin here. Helps clean up the kill. Oh, Parasites, he just spawns next to him, huh? Oh, that was almost a sick manta dodge from Glex. Props to him there. Uh, yeah, and he just you just hop out of their body. Oh, Sunset comes in, but he slides, but I'm still waiting for the big bad ulti. Here it comes. Oh, Alright, they're losing some HP, but they're, they're okay. They're going to try and fight this all back, but Shane, he's burning up so much. I think he's going to go down. Yeah, not able to save himself there. Although the bashes from Birdside are getting... What's Slack doing? He's just hitting some shrines over the side, not helping the squad. Again, still just basically playing techies, but there we go. There's the combust. He's starting up another catalytic here on a Suns fan. Oh, he's got 10 more seconds left. They actually bring him down. Four heroes, 3k of their lead has been wiped out, and now you have a bloodlusted Sir Action Slacks running around. Well, the raid boss is down just like that. I'm impressed. I didn't think they were going to be able to kill him. You know, when they're... Does it split like Luna ult? I don't know. It didn't look like it, did it? Like, it, it kind of looked like it was only on the ogre for a second there. Yeah, like, there's all these green things flying out from all the enemies coming into him and everything, but it just... They didn't die. No, I, it was confusing. It looked like only like one hero was taking damage at a time or something. I, I'm not sure how it works. And maybe it is like kind of a Luna ult thing. These are the wonders of these fresh new heroes that you guys are here to judge and just think about them. I, I mean, ideally the goal here would be if I can bring up uh, my other window here. I'll just uh, see if I can find this. Basically, the way they discuss it is the hero development cycle. Okay. And so, you know, you, you make this hero, then there's going to be a spotlight on it, kind of like something like this, and then there'll be this this playthrough, and eventually they'd like to see community hero submissions. Filter through some of those, judge them, and, and kind of do it with, with community heroes. So you guys could basically make these things, these disgusting heroes, like uh, Suns fan Dead Co. in the mid lane, or this gross little mushroom thing. That, that could be you guys. Wow, what a TP by Slacks. Did you see that? I mean, that was just... No, I missed That it. was beautiful. Can right next to him? Yeah. Wait, can he TP to his pods, too? I want... Hold up. That would be pretty cool. He must be able to, right? That makes sense. Because he can use anything. Although, I guess that doesn't really count. Because you still need a, a proper target for the, the TP. So, that probably doesn't work. All right, Slacks, what do you so... got here? Dagon 3. So, have you seen the damage yet? No, no, I'm still trying, dude. I, I don't really... I'm not finding it. Like, can he just pop this thing right now mid and just get a bunch of gold? Because, I mean, with 600 damage, you can just clear creep place. Yeah, forever. that's what I want to see. I feel like if he uses that, it seems mega OP. But yeah. he's, ne he's never combusting the shrines. He would be so farmed if he did that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Like, how's he even poor right now? Uh oh, Sans fans coming through. Only four creeps. He's a little bit of a, a mini cobalt, but he blinks on in, gives him the munch down. They're throwing Deso hits at this guy. Still does nothing. All right, now he's inside. He's using the ulti. Slacks is trying, but it looks like Sans fan took too much damage, I believe, and that's what purged out Slacks. And yeah, uh, so. and now His Slacks just has to run. Again. Yeah, you um, oh, it no. doesn't waste the skill. That's a big thing about Parasite. That would be really broken if you could just like use Tide's Ravage or something like that, but. The skill is still usable by the real player when they get back inside the body. Okay. I, yeah. I, uh, I didn't see that he hopped inside him and then used the ult first. I thought that was just Sunspan using it the first time and then it happened to get refreshed or something. Yeah. Maybe that's what I saw the first that time. That must have been what happened in the mid lane and, and we were just yeah. ready to accuse Sunspan of cheating like that. Can you believe us? Mm -hmm. Such little faith in our... Though. No, not this guy. <laughs> Every creepy goes stronger. <laughs> He's all 25 now. It says absorption deals pure damage and pierces spell. All right. Pierces absorption. Spell. Okay. So, well, all right. That's insane. So now we're we're actually talking 37.55 pure damage. Is that what I'm hearing right now? I think that's what I'm hearing. Wow. He's lost a lot of HP from losing all his little stacks, man. He was up to like 4,000 and some. He needs to get a snack on. He needs a not. <laughs> he does. He, he needs to head to the concession stand. Something here, man. <laughs> He's gotta fill up that cup. You can't have diet in there, man. That's going to be the real deal. All right, go munch that creep. 
All right, they're still being chased. The ulti's back in 28 seconds. Oh, there's the shield. I think it's on top of Glex right now. Yes, he was linked up for a moment there. Wait, what's the cooldown on this ability? Oh, it lasts. It's, it's permanent. It has 100% uptime. Well, that seems insane. Oh, RP from Nikki on top of Slacks. And... Oh, his ulti was back in three seconds. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, there he is. Sunset's coming back. He's got the ulti in five seconds. He just puts the shield on top, but it's actually not enough to save. Oh, he's in some trouble now. Ooh, Shane with a triple kill. He died so fast. Yeah, that plus uh, 0.4 backstab multiplier. Mm. Oh, nice little stun by a Bruzix. The Ogre versus the Jug. And Bernie again coming through in the clutch, maybe? He doesn't have enough mana for a stun, though. All right, he'll find Glex. The Jukes are not there. Glex is in some trouble here. Maybe? 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 Well, who's in trouble? All right, there's actually, three heroes know. here, guys. Come on. Get them. Now, now we're talking. They're just chilling out, waiting for some cooldowns there. And Shane's uh, got double damage now. Oh, he's no. just running on through. He's going to, like, three-shot someone. Yep. Your middle Rax is dying. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Like you. Nice. Nice. The Bruzix with a fire back. I like it. All right. That was a, a Dagon onto a Catapult, I believe. You know, we might need to step in and moderate this all chat here. It's getting pretty aggressive. <laughs> Throw out some bans. I don't know. I, I think yeah. cheats are on. We could give gold to one team. <laughs> I think Slacks needs some items. You know, that uh, concept where he can cast spells out of his, uh, the Sporocarps, can he cast out of the Fungal Pods too, or is it just the Sporocarps? <laughs> I don't know, I'm busy flaming him. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's going to put the pod down, and no, it's only out of the actual carp, so they have to explode first. Okay. You know, if you have like a Hex or something, some more usable items. Yeah, it's true. Maybe, maybe, maybe not things. just a Dagon. Yeah. All right, I like this, though. He's starting to get some pods down the middle lane. So I want to see, like... Because he can just combust these things from anywhere. There's no range on combust. That's what's so insane about it. So you can just combust people anywhere. You know, if this Marana down here had the little sickness on her, he could just combust her. And she just gets stunned for four seconds. Global assistance. Oh, my God. This is the, the big FPS dropper here. <laughs> all those little pods in the mid lane? Yeah. All right, here we go. Shane, in the middle of all this... Help now, and then now Zeno, well, he's really in the middle of all this. All right, give it to him. Don't die, Slags. I want to see you actually do something. All right, they're all just going to run away. Just a little casual feed from Zeno. Okay. What is this pod? What, uh, the other thing is, if you notice the fungal pod, hopefully, all right, they're just going in, apparently. Shane really wants Suns fan. And, oh, oh, he's going he's gonna to give him the ulti. Yeah, you better run. Oh, oh look at that God. damage. All right, so it was targeting, like, one hero at a time there. Oh, and then halfway through, he can just, like, blink if he hasn't taken damage and just get on top of someone else. That is actually nasty. This is insane. So these fungal pods also only have a range of 350, I believe. Or, like, a radius. So when they actually explode, you have to be pretty close for them to do the damage. Maybe that's why we're not really seeing it do much. It's, like, the same radius as, like, they are wide, honestly. Okay. Oh, jeez. Shane absolutely obliterates these people. Sun's gonna have a, why does he have a force staff? This guy really just wants to use his ulti and that's it. Yeah, doesn't care about anything else. Oh, 45 minutes in. Alright, I'm still waiting. Like, if these things don't explode on a creep wave, I'm gonna be so sorry. Alright, here we go. So th this thing. Oh, they're not gonna meet? Oh, creeps, please. Alright, it's gonna push though. Look at all these range creeps. I, juicy range creeps I need, need to this die. to happen, dude. I just want to know what this thing does. We're going to go the whole game and it won't happen. Because I was testing this hero and I got it to work. I did. All right. Like right now, look how much money this is. They, they have 360 HP. Oh, he just dag on someone. What was that? He, he zapped someone. I don't know what it was. Oh, there's a creep out here. He's just zapping stuff. All right. He's not going to pop the pod. He's keeping the pod. Um, the other thing about these things is that, uh, as you can see from the radiant, they do give a little bit of vision. Uh, I believe. Yeah, it looks like they do. Yeah, tiny, tiny little bit of vision. Bit. And, and you do need true sight to see them, so the dark can't just kill them. Speaking of true sight, Glex is under it right now with Shane roaming around, and damn, he just kills them. All right. Nope, Shane's just gonna run. I thought maybe he had to play. <laughs> he has a double damage again. 
And he still can't even fight Sunspan. That's how scary he is. Um, it's still down to four creep stacks, though. What is this thing? Cal oh, he has a Cadillac Spore on top of him. Is anyone else? Doesn't look like it. And again, spotting the movement. So some helpfulness from this hero. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Those audio files are just so gross. <laughs> 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 At least I do. Something. Now, I believe in the proper lore, he's supposed to have one eye. I think that's how he envisions him. And, like, wards are, like, pulled off of him. And that's what wards come from. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, so we uh, started wards. Yeah, he needs a, a proper model first. You know, this is still just a testing phase. This is just an enlarged tree and protector cause or, um, nature's profit cosmetic. You guys haven't seen it before. God, he's very gross looking, though. Yep, this was some, uh... Some nightmare material. I don't know how you push against this co thing. I, I guess you have to try and work around the big cooldown of 100 seconds. All right, Bernie's in. He's just ready to push. Uh, but there it is. There's the suck. All right, you can see it kind of oh going in between God. the two heroes. Oh, and son. The rapier is down. He, he just killed Shane. Oh, there was a rapier on him, eh? Yeah, Nikki stole uh, the rapier. All right, nice. Shannon, <laughs> Shannon moved his items and he wanted it, but nope. <laughs> Uh, Slax is just like trying to pop shrines in the middle lane here. Ko is still just hobbling and waddling. Xeno way up front. All right, Nikki's been taken over, but he can't get the RP off in time. That's the real RP. Uh, Nikki not having any problems with the, the pod, and he just accepts his fate, turns to his death. They can't get up the high ground. I I don't think you know any fight that initiates on the Sunspan guy. If he doesn't die, it's just over. It's ridiculous. He actually just heals to full health almost instantly. It's 4,000 damage. I, I just don't know, man. I don't know what to say. I, I don't really get how, like, the fungal pod to me seemed so overpowered. All right. He also has plus 300 fungal pod damage. It does 900 damage now over time. Well, <laughs> I've never seen the damage being used, so it currently deals zero damage. Oh, God. He can farm so fast. He seems insane. So each pod lasts a, uh, how long do they last? They, they last forever, the actual pod themselves, and you can have oh, okay. up to six at a time. Okay, that's what it was, they're up to six. Yo. That's it, just a yo? Oh, I never ended up pulling in, maybe I'll pull in Sunspan right now. We'll ask him some questions. I, I told him I'd pull him in at some point. Hey, Sunspan! Yeah. Just pulling you in here. I haven't actually pulled in anyone yet. I, I kind of forgot we were going to do that. How's uh, how's it feeling, man? How's Ko? Feels great, bro. You're Back. kind of owning. Um, your ultimate is disgustingly overpowered. It How is. dare you? It's very balanced. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Watch this. Oh, oh, there oh, we go. Oh, well, there it is. What the fuck is that? What is that here? That huge what blob? What, what's happening? <laughs> what? Viscous ooze. Wait, there's a new hero? All right. What is going on? I was not warned oh of this. Oh my god. What is this shit? <laughs> yeah, that, that's a little Easter egg. <laughs> well, that was perfect timing. <laughs> what the hell? Is this another new hero? Yes, this it is another flying. new hero. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how fat he is. <laughs> what? I don't even understand what he does. Oh, well, you can read the description. <laughs> he's burning people. He has a slime trail. Oh, these look disgusting. And Glex is just uh, walking through it. I forget the exact concept, but he can turn items into gold and gold, or what was it? Net worth, I don't know, it's like his his E and his R, I think? Let's he, those. it looks like he can just spit oozlings, okay. He gets a passive, the game's charging when he takes damage. Chance to absorb attacks from nearby enemies, healing for a percentage of that, okay. And then his ult, oh, I see, treasure magic. While toggled, he will convert strength gains from consuming items into gold at a rate of one stat, what the f Consume items. Consumes all items in his backpack, gaining strength and adding cooldown time per 100 net worth consumed. What? This just looks disgusting. I mean, does he get like a discount? <laughs> this guy is gross. Dude. What are these little things? Oozlings. <laughs> Ew, they're so yeah. gross. So the cool thing about this mod is even though Slax and I aren't using technically. Uh, new models, because ours are like mine's obviously a neutral creep and his is uh, a tree ant cosmetic. Yeah. Uh, you can you can put in like completely new models and animations like that. We just uh, what we need is like workshop artists and people that actually do that if they want to donate to the cause, then we can use stuff like that. It's pretty sick.
Wow, that is gross. Uh, what are you? How are you feeling about Slax as hero? Because personally, we're really underwhelmed. Underwhelmed? Yeah. He hasn't done the anything concept, the whole game. The concept makes no sense. Like it's Slax. What? Ha, have you, you seen the fungal pods do damage? No, it's too hard to do. It's too hard to pull off the fungal pod damage thing. Well, because we're just confused at this point. Because like I, they have to last for a certain time, and then he needs to like combust them. But I don't think I've seen him combust one yet. And then we're thinking like, why isn't he just like farming waves with them? He could be rich. Oh, oh god. Oh, you... I barely used. Oh my goodness. Dude, once you started using your your link thing, it got mega yeah. OP. I know, I know. Before you That's... you weren't really using it. Oh, you're uh, you might have to press that win the game button pretty soon here, <laughs> there, dude. Nah, I'm just gonna wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> you don't need it. All right. Oh, there's too many creeps. Uh oh. Are you gonna be all right here? Uh, well, the she's gonna, my are teammate in. is gonna. RP all right, me. that was a nice steal by Slacks. I'm He's starting to get it. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, oh, there, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, no, that looks fine, actually. <laughs> no, you're right. It's a balance. Bro. Yeah, no, my mistake. It, it, it could use a little number tweak, most Just likely, a little? But, uh, How about the fact that it's 100% with agony? Pure damage. Yeah, pure, yeah damage. pure damage. Really, dude? Yeah. That talent? I mean, all right. I, I, mean, think... I wasn't expecting... All right, I'll admit, but I, I don't think the co the concept is broken. It's just the numbers. It's okay, easily, I can agree with that, fixable. and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ask Slacks and see if he can figure out what right, went wrong least. this game. <laughs> yes. All right. Hey, uh, hey, Slacks. Yeah. We're here to just ask you some questions, buddy. Um, what what do you think, your hero man? Are are you feeling like you uh, you did a lot this game? So when does your hero come online? Of, uh, say in the nerfs of my hero. Okay. And, uh, all right. I feel like making all of his skills have a thousand mana per time might have fucked it up a little bit. Okay, I, I've, I've noticed you've five been five pretty low on mana. You their skills? What the fuck is that? Oh wait, I didn't know that. So you have to yeah. use your own mana to cast things yeah. like RP and oh. It's impossible. Oh wow. Oh, that's a little it's rough. Horrible. Okay. It's fucking terrible. I can appreciate you know, my that. Ultimate costs four hundred mana. Your hero has been nerfed into the dumpster. It really has. Sunspan claims that his hero is uh, has no problems, and it's completely fine. Well, we yeah uh, we have to uh, think he's uh, very OP. Yes. Yeah, and I've solo been, uh, winning this game. Cause look right now, okay. Oh, is he gonna die? Oh, he actually died. Cause you know, was that you? Oh, look at you go, dude, stealing that that guy. That was pretty slick. All right, all you're right. you're doing shit, dude. Now it's in, dude. Now all right, it's in. all right. Now I'm fucking mad about it. That was good. All right, I saw what your hero does. That was pretty cool. Piece of shit. All right, what's up? Can you explain the fungal pods doing damage? Cause frankly, we're just confused, man. We're not seeing fungal them really do like, damage. They're like a shrine. They have to uh -huh. be activated. Yeah. Uh, but the things have to stay in there, so we don't really have a team for keeping anybody in fungal pods at all. It's okay, because when the, when the fungal pod is combusted, um, they have to like stick around for a while, to take the damage. That's what you're saying, right? Like it's much like a disruptor. Old, yes. Correct. Okay. The longer they're in it, the more damage it does. Mm. And with our current team lineup, uh, they will never be in it. And so. on top <laughs> of that, the pod has to have been alive um, for like a long time. To, uh, to actually do the max damage until you get that yeah. 25 talent, which looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait for that. I can't help but yeah. draw a lot of parallels between your hero and Techies. Of course. It, it's a, a it's very, comparison. very close. Slax, Indeed. I feel like your hero comes online when you're losing the game. Kind of like Indeed. Techies. It does. It really does. Uh, I sure wish this stupid asshole would hit the carts. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello. All right. Okay. Woo! All right. Well, good luck, buddy. Um, your giant blob. You. Did you know that was coming? Cause we didn't. Um. No, I, I did not. It's gross no and terrifying. It, it is actually terrible. It's humongous. It's bigger than <laughs> Sunspan after eating like twenty creeps. Yeah, it is pretty pretty filthy. Oh, he so, just uh, he just shot out a bunch of things. Sure. They don't last very long. But okay. Well, uh, good luck there, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you. I'll send you back. Good luck. All right. Oh well. He's got a game to win. Yeah. I don't know. At least we're on the same page. That was, I'm impressed he was able to pull off that uh, juggernaut combination in the middle of his sentence there. He didn't even flinch. It was like he'd yeah. been waiting for this the whole game. Now he's a Shadow Blade, too. Okay. Wait, I think he's whoa. actually owning now. Okay. I was just thinking about some disgusting slack things, but I think we're okay. I don't, I don't think... There's no way he can, like, blink from where a pod is. That wouldn't make any sense. We're just going to assume that wouldn't work. Although that'd that be cool ridiculous. as hell. Alright, he's taking Sunspan. 
and now he's, he's parking them in the middle of his team. Oh, they're oh in the on. silence. Oh, but they don't get the stun off. Oh, that's on Burnside. But he, they kill him. All right. Slax does it again. There's a Macropire, though. Uh, Glex gets off the Omni, but he can't actually kill Slax the first time. What feels like forever. Uh, yeah, it, it absorbs the whole pod. Now, that's good. That's nasty. What? I like how this thing is turning everything black, by the way. This is pretty great. All right, it blocked arrows at one point, and now it's eating up the Omni Slash. And that's just dead. Now, apparently that's a bug. It's not actually supposed to do that, um, but that's just part of how they had to code them. So okay, that, that just, could be fixed in the future. It's hard for me. You know, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a feature. It's true. It's true. I mean, that's how most Dota goes. But at the same time, you know, Slax is hero. He kind of needs everything he can get at this point. That is very true. I mean, these mini shrines basically need to add mana at this point to try and recover the poor thing. Yep, that's uh, crazy that it uses his mana to cast their ultimate when he takes control of them. Yeah, I feel pretty bad. Man, they are sticking around way too long here. They got to get out. They got some problems. I feel like Slack's never... Oh, he uh, he kind of juked into that arrow there. He, he might deserve a little bit of a death here. Birdie, a, a little late one. a little late on the save. No, oh, Nick's got RP. They're, they're going to give it to Shane. Oh, they can't actually see him. <laughs> That's an it's issue. Rapier on the ground. Oh, oh. Did she cancel that, I think? Yeah, it was cancel. Oh, they can't... Oh, oh they found him! Marana leaping... Oh, where is it? Did someone have a gem? Oh, my God. This did not just happen. <laughs> No. Oh, they had that sentry right there. And he just gets away. Goodbye. I'm going to give them a raffle for that one. It's, that's deserved. That's the old uh, Benny Hill music. Yep. Cue right there. And they instantly buy a gem. Oh. So, you know, Sword Bacon looks like he's having a great time. He's just making the whole base real stinky. I really don't know what this guy does. Yeah, I don't that's think true. anyone does. I guess we should probably try and figure this out because... Uh, yeah, we had no idea what's happening here. So right now he's got strength stacks. So those are from consuming items. Can be converted into gold with treasure magic. So right now he's 85. He was never particularly a rich guy. One stack per 8.5 seconds. This thing is confusing. It is. So he can... It's like a morphling, right? Because he's got like this little toggle thing. So he can convert strength gained from consuming items into gold. So is he gaining gold right now? Because he's losing a lot of HP. And he's gaining some gold. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't there know, is a fight but... happening, though. And they have a gem now for Shane. And he can't quite get invincible in time. But he is the Aegis. He is still surrounded, though. Are they just going to give him the uh, Sunspan ulti? Oh, Burnside. Oh, they, they're not controlling Sunspan. He's left alone. The ulti flies. The Ancients are absorbing some of the damage. You can see the little health coming from them so again you got to dodge those creeps when you're popping the ulti so Sunspan kind of fails the ulti there he flubs it a bit okay the hero is not uh, completely overpowered oh he's inside Glex he gives him the spin there's no Omni Slash that oh, he's out oh yeah he's just running he's gonna get out of there but that's a uh, that's a long cooldown and uh, maybe they can clean some of that oh Slax comes back with the blink dagger gives him the zap over the guys he's gonna buy back he's salty doesn't have bots or anything. All right, he's gonna TP down to the shrine to try to rejoin this. The centaur helps out during the fight. Stun up the ogre. It's a bit rude. And Slax is still just kind of wandering around, looking. Well, I'm not sure what he's looking for. He's just hanging out with Shane. I guess Shane does have a divine rapier, so. And he is the gem. How much damage can he do here? He always oh, gets ulti in like one second. Oh, he's gonna steal the regen too. Hmm. That that was a little bit tasty. Oh, look at this slack. He can dag on from here right now. Oh, he, didn't. he doesn't use it, though. And there's no more wards. Oh, that's the RP. But he's going to go invis. They still have no detection. And there's the oh, ulti on top with crush. Burnside stunning. That's some nice control. Oh, can they get Nikki in time? She's still trying to waddle away. And they have a sentry ward, too, to just spot Shane. Oh, but he gets saved by Burnside with a bash. Shane running. Not in time. Bernie with the crit. The gem uh, attempted to be recovered by Burnside. Oh, no, never mind. He goes for the rapier instead. Uh, but he's going to end up losing both. And Slax is here? The rapier. Yeah. <laughs> she just casually walked in. Where was the other one? <laughs> All right, they got one on Glex and one on Slax. They got a ranged rapier gaming now. You know, Slax is almost at his 25. And he's buying a refresher so he can, like, double grab someone? Oh, I, I whoa. I guess so. Whoa. So he could, like, grab and, like... RP, I guess, and then he could 
grab them again because then here is still gonna have it. This is confusing. I uh, guess so. I'm gonna tell him the wrong spot. Nice, nice. I don't even know where it is. Right, let me see. On top of your ward spot by secret shop. Looks like Radiance Ancient is getting stopped. Let's see if he sends the courier or something stupid. I was kind of hoping he would just like get four staffed up there or something. They they don't care. Yeah, cheaters don't serve any of that. What's what's Slacks doing here? What what is this? I'm still not getting this guy. So like he had no items, and now he's a bunch of items. Where did they come from? I don't know. This hero is confusing. And why does he have a catalytic spore on him? I thought that was for enemies. <laughs> <laughs> This, this is causing all kinds of problems. Wait, so is a Bruzix. What? I'm so confused. Yeah, I, I don't know. Slax is infecting all the allies. Wait, stunning them if they are an enemy. Wait, does that mean he can use it on allies? When his allies die, they make wards too? Alright, this ability is just on a whole other level. So he can use it on allies. I, I, there's, there's, this guy's like an onion, man. There's just layer after layer. You actually just don't know what's next. <laughs> I really don't. So now that means that when his allies die, he can then cast spells where his allies were standing. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's a neat idea. Feels like uh, if you had a hero that's suicided and did a lot of damage, that could potentially be, be good for this hero. Maybe uh, a techies or something. Okay, this vicious black making thing is doing stuff, but... I can't tell where he is. Do you think that's part of like the uh, the hero being obscured and this black ooze? Wait, I actually don't know where he is. <laughs> oh, I see him now. Like you can't even see this building here. I, I think I'm gonna lag out. I don't think they're ever gonna put them out of their misery. The the dire are just not ending this. They have no. Oh, slacks. What's happening, dude? He disconnected. Slacks. Hello. Oh, he's moving again. Right, We're good. He's back. Oh, just just let it go. I feel like I haven't seen Sunspan in ages. Oh, who are we inside? We're inside Glex. Go Omni Slash. Oh, no. He's just trying to get into the fountain. Bring him into the fountain. He's there got no blink. They want this rapier. Force staff me. Force staff me again. Oh, look how far they get. Oh, dude. He is in there. BKBs. Omni Slashes. Glex does not like this plan. Sunspan's in the well. Casting his ulti. Targeting on top of everyone. What a classy way to end the game. <laughs> As he ghost scepters himself. It looks like he got e-bladed by somebody. Oh, yeah. Xeno's got him covered. Nice save as always. Please let it end. It's been 64 minutes of this pain. It's, the vicious thing is just phasing through the ancient and doing something. Happening? I don't. He has an agonim too, apparently, but I think it's finally coming to an end. The dire have done it. Oh, oh my god. So what? What do you think about these heroes? I, th I think we're. This is getting ridiculous. I mean. He was playing a different hero for half the game. He just transformed into that thing. All right, let's let's pull them both in. I think. All right, uh, Suns fans, oh Slacks, I've I've pulled you both in here. I feel like that's the appropriate thing to do here. Oh, Gracious, God. what a game! That was say. that was long. You guys really. Yeah, Sunspan, you, thanks you, for you, nerfing you, my hero into <laughs> shit and having the biggest fucking OP piece of garbage I've ever seen. Like, well, my hero has no HP. He should insta kill five people. By the way, Slax, your ultimate costs 700 mana. Never tell you that, though, by How the way. How come you only use. Did you. How many good ults did you get? You got RP, you got Omni Slash. What else did you get? There's a little bug. When I use RP, I immediately jump out of it and stun myself with RP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that explains it. Tiny little so, bug. So, okay. again, my, my concept, I don't think it's broken. It's just the numbers right now need some tweaking. But Slax's broken. hero. All right, so just so the audience knows, my hero took the mod team one week to do. One week. Three and a half months was spent making Slax's hero. Okay? This thing is fucking impossible to do. It's impossible. He's, he's garbage! <laughs> <laughs> That's your own faulty piece of garbage. Oh god. How did you guys how did you guys enjoy the cast? Well, your your guy was really OP. Um yes. we, we think the numbers were a, a bit high there, especially in the is early it, game. 
Is it just the ultimate? Like, g give us feedback on. I I'd say the ultimate's the big one. Yep, I would say it's the ultimate as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd say if you can insta kill an entire team, that's pretty bad, actually. The uh, I think the shield is actually the most OP part about him. Yeah, we um, couldn't really tell. It's one of those yeah, things that you can't really tell. see it working. Yeah. Um, and there wasn't that much magic damage on the enemy team either. You know, if it was a yeah, real they, Venomancer they that like casts an ulti or something, that would have been pretty crazy. Yeah, I was kind of I was kind of worried going in the game because they didn't pick like any magic damage. I was like, oh god. Yeah. But it worked out because Slax's hero is terrible. So. I I actually wow. think Slax's hero could maybe be okay. My hero is fine, as you just saw. He can get shit on completely. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. You didn't. I was surprised you had not that much farm though. Don't you have a didn't you have a gold talent or something? Did you take that one? I did. I got it. Yeah. Where where yeah. was the fungal pods killing creep waves? What is that not no. what your hero should do? It should. But uh, it's just it takes time to put those fungal pods up, you know. And yeah, that's then sometimes true. they sometimes they don't choose to heal you. Sometimes they yeah, we know for no we, reason. Yeah, yeah, there uh, was some big one issues. One time you don't play super super greedy and not get Midas. I was definitely expecting a Midas going oh. mid for you. No, I thought we were having fun. I don't know, am I? <laughs> um, nobody gave Glex that fucking uh, memo by the way. That <laughs> what are you talking fun. about? Ricky, Nobody. freaking Shane has 36 kills. Nobody oh, wait, fucking... Jug has 33. Okay, that's about yeah, similar, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. They cool, cancel I, each other I'm out. Clex, I've never won a game in my life, but time to put in <laughs> fucking 99 losses in a row to work here <laughs> and pray to Satan that I get to win a fucking game for the first time. Uh, Good game. Good game. Well, it, it was fun, regardless. Yeah, your, your hero was fucking broken as fuck. <laughs> I, we uh, thoroughly enjoyed the animation of uh, Ko when he started getting really fat. There was a couple yeah. times where you would uh, eat stuff and then your guy would immediately take a drink. It was quite yeah, good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Too bad you can't hear the voice lines, but uh, when this video comes out, they'll already be out on the channel. So, for Slacks and mine. Yeah, we got a couple That's of them throughout that game from really Slacks. Great. Yours were still making their noises and all their glory. Of course. Well, if the goal was whose hero would get into the game. What do you guys think? <laughs> in their uh, current state. <laughs> I actually think with numbers tweaking, it's more likely that Suns fans would. Boom! You, Trent. The, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the problem is... What do you know? Because yours is just like... I feel like yours could be so strong. Yeah, but it needs it needs a lot of... So one of the issues is his is a little bit buggy, too. Right? Yes. Because it's... It's one of those like if you like when they put Rubik in the game, you had to balance it around everything. You had to test every like they were fixing bugs literally two years later, right? It's the same kind of deal because you're taking over heroes and using their abilities. So, also, I was a little lied to. Yeah. I was told that as long as they were in the AOE of a Sporocarp, I could use items. That is why I rushed Dagon. Yeah. It turns out you have to click on an individual Sporocarp and then do it. So oh. it's kind of like micro. Which is very difficult for me. <laughs> really? If you go rush first item day gone. It's probably not great to have to micro. When I, that, when I was testing it earlier, first... it worked. Mm. That's the mm. first time Slax has said that rushing Dagon is not good. That is, wow. It's an important moment in history I'm here. I'm fucking pissed. Don't let Glex come. No tryhards. <laughs> and let's have a fun game. <laughs> All right, n next time. Episode two, we'll try it out. Yeah, There's going to be a little bit of tweaking maybe for the next one? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll nerf my hero a bit. I'm just, I'm scared because he's so bad early game. That's my my worry. And yeah, but he's definitely really not a mid hero really either. I feel like he could have excelled yeah. better somewhere else. No doubt, that's definitely true. Same oh, with yeah. my Speaking hero. of try hard, how many Trent and yep. Rax, be my my judge and jury here. How many fucking times did they gank me mid with three or four heroes? Like Once. talk about try hard. Once. Once. Oh my god. I mean, I saw Murano arrowing mid. <laughs> I'm just saying. So that. Yeah, and he yeah, didn't he hit anything. Okay. Your lane. <laughs> he came within in his rune and clicked slacks <laughs> twice and walked away. <laughs> and, and to exactly, be fair, uh, what was up with the starting with the ogre mid lane? I was a little tilted. You know, it was supposed to be a, a fun one v one, and then exactly. ogre just runs mid and throws an ignite. Exactly. And know, and Shane was is. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissed. I got goddamn sword bacon. <laughs> Said he's played three games of Dota. Fuck you, Shannon. You nerfed my hero to shit. You gave me a bunch of dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely a, uh, you know, Shane was the only one who was trying to pull the weight on that team. And, and Bernie had some great crushes, too, to really his credit. Did. Yeah. He really did. All right, well. Okay. What a, All what right, thanks experience. for casting, guys. Really appreciate it.
No, no, no problem, guys. Close it out, Trent. Guys. Close it out. Yeah. Bro. Well, this is uh, this is it. Let me remind you here, guys, of the uh, the beautiful. Oh, look at that nice little image once again here. So that was the first episode of the Community Hero, Hero Project. Hopefully, you'll be seeing much more of Co and Parasite. Parasite. <laughs> In the near future. Thank, thanks, Brax, for your invaluable time, friend. I, yep, it was fun. I'm glad you were there to suffer through that with me. I just don't know where the big the goo monster came out of. <laughs> yeah, that was really confusing. Uh, so maybe you guys will learn a little bit more about uh, what was its name? Uh, actually, I don't remember. But yeah, that, I don't care. It fucking some that'll be vicious, the next hero. some vicious. <laughs> that'll be one of glob. the next heroes coming out. Okay, well, and remember, guys, uh, this is the Community Hero Project. So if you guys have your own ideas, that's what it's here for: finding hero concepts, testing them out, judging them, and who knows what could happen in the future. So, yeah, slacks uh, could feed on your hero. That should be our advertisement. Actually. That is actually a pretty good advertisement. Slacks might go dagging first on your hero, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Whoa. Congrats. Let my son's fan balance it. I choose my <laughs> ultimate. Oh, God. A okay. billion damage. <laughs> Only if the team almost kills me. By the way, the enemy's <laughs> ultimate costs 900 mana. Hey, <laughs> I'm son's fan. Tune Great in. experience. Thank you. Tune in for the next one to find out if those balance changes have actually occurred.